The Stockton Heat has the best of the best on their team and a record to prove it. In fact, team members Ryan Lumberg and Tyler Parsons have just signed to play in the NHL for the Calgary Flames. That's really exciting. Here to tell us more about what's to come with the Heat is none other than broadcaster Brandon Kisker. Brandon, welcome back to the show. Well, thank you for having me. I feel like I just came back from here. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, you're becoming a regular fixture, and yeah. we don't mind that at all, <laughs> especially if you're talking about the Stockton Heat. So a lot is going on, and tell us about they're in the thick of a potential playoff berth. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's uh, we're coming down to the, the nitty-gritty of the season. Uh, 11 more games remaining. Uh, we have five, actually, in April, all at home. Uh, so we have some nice home games coming up. But uh, it's going to be a big, uh, a big task. I mean, it, there's a lot of good teams. I think our division's one of the best. So uh, the way it comes down to is we have uh, the top four teams will advance to a divisional playoff round. And uh, our, our goal is to try and get at least a fourth right now. Mm -hmm. The Bakersfield Condors are one of our hated rivals down south. They currently hold that, uh, that spot, and we want to make sure we kick them out. Bakersfield. Yeah, I know. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be so aggressive there. Uh, but we are talking about the format for hockey is very unique. It's not like with baseball there's a magic number. So what that means, I guess, for fans is that everything hinges on every play, it all hinges on the on each game, right? And that makes it exciting for the fans. Yeah, based on uh, our, our our playoffs right now, the way we get in is based on points percentage, which is kind of a complicated roundabout way. Um, the layman's terms, basically, we're about three points back right okay. now. And uh, we, we need to try and get a couple wins here. And, and the, the unique thing is that uh, through our playoffs, we play divisional. So it leads to some uh, really heated, hated matchups. Uh, we had a penalty-filled <laughs> fest on uh, Saturday against the San Jose Barracuda, who if we get into fourth, that could be the matchup that we played. Oh, so man. a team we've played 12 times, we could be seeing in the first round uh, for a heated five-game series. That's amazing. So can the team trade for anyone this late if they're like, you know, they need to be pushed over the top here and get that playoff berth? Can they trade now or is it too late? No, uh, the, the NHL trade deadline actually is passed, so we can't bring oh, okay. any new players in like that. However, in the AHL, what we can do is bring in players that were, were signed to the Calgary Flames, that have signed to a deal, or signed what's called an amateur tryout agreement. So players from colleges uh, or from major junior clubs in Canada, they can actually come and participate uh, with us. Last year, actually a year ago, uh, almost to the date, we picked up uh, our now best player, Mark Jankowski, who was drafted in the first round by the Flames, and he's now uh, leads our team and all rookies in the American with 24 goals and he kind of started uh, after his career at uh, Providence College ended so uh, we could see a few new faces come in uh, here and there uh, through the, the course of the season that might help us out but we have a real good team right now and I think that the guys that we have the veteran group that we have can help us get uh, at least very very close to a playoff spot and hopefully get to that spot. What could a Stockton Heat playoff run do for the city of Stockton? I mean, would that help? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, obviously there's a lot of buzz going on with the uh, the March Madness tournament coming into town uh, actually this weekend. But it's uh, it's really nice, I think, for for the city. They get behind their sports. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's the Stockton Ports, the University of Pacific, uh, Delta College, uh, or the, the Stockton Thunder in years past, the mm -hmm. Stockton Eat Now. Uh, I think people in Stockton get a bad rep, and, and they – they come out and they really support uh, any of the teams uh, and the, the teams do it themselves I think a good job of supporting one another and uh, I know we're very excited for the port season to start they're very excited for us to hopefully continue and go a little bit longer into our season so it, I think it's going to be really great for the city it, it certainly helps change some of the mindset that there's some some great things and great people that go on uh, in Stockton and, and we, we certainly help uh, that we can make a, a nice little playoff run we haven't been the playoffs uh, in hockey since 2013 14 so it'd be nice you guys are due yeah. uh, what's the most memorable memorable game this season for you you know a couple a couple weeks back actually it was that youth jersey giveaway night oh, yeah. that we had with the uh, with the ABC 10 you guys mm -hmm. partnered with us and it was really cool because it was uh, a, a large sellout crowd in fact the largest we've played in uh, at Stockton Arena oh. in uh, Stockton Heat history and was just 90 short from that game we played here uh, at the home of the River Cats at Rayleigh Field so it uh, it was a really fun game it was Star Wars night too so I'm kind of a Star Wars <laughs> geek I, I enjoyed it I took a, a few selfies with some of my favorite characters that were dressed up so it was a lot of fun and the kids obviously when you give them some jerseys they love it bang on the glass get a few pucks tossed to them from the guys on the ice so it's it was a lot, a lot of fun and 
and uh, look forward to having more of those in the future. It does sound fun. So where can people get more information about the Stockton Heat? Well, you can obviously go to StocktonHeat.com. We have Facebook and Twitter page you can always follow. Uh, but certainly, uh, you can if you, if you want to get some tickets, uh, we have some big promotions coming up here uh, in April where we have five home games, uh, two of which are going to have bobbleheads being given nice. away. We have a military appreciation night. So uh, some cool stuff coming up. Just call 209-373-1500 and chat with one of our uh, helpful account execs. That's really exciting.